Greetings! Today I've got something that I'm quite excited about. So this is a digital oscilloscope and frequency meter DIY kit from eBay from Chinese company called uh, JYE Tech. Uh, it's the DSO 068. Um, so it's a little oscilloscope um, that uh, comes in a case. It's a complete kit. Um, you can see on the box uh, it's a uh, marked as 06804K, so I think 4K, it's got 4K uh, memory, um, that's what I think, um, www.jawetech.com, uh, um, yeah, it's a uh, Chinese company that makes um, all sorts of uh, weird and uh, nice um, test equipment, um, not all that serious and, and top end, but it's all um, reasonably uh, usable for most of the hobby level stuff and um, this um, they do have quite a few um, oscilloscope this is the probably the t most top end one that I could find on eBay then when I looked on the website they do have some even more advanced than this um, but this um, yeah let's have a look let's have a look maybe at uh, uh, eBay description of the item so this is all that comes uh, with the kit we'll have a look at that in a moment and it's got a nice little monochrome display uh, one channel 8-bit resolution 0 to 3 megahertz bandwidth 20 meg samples uh, uh, per second equivalent sampling uh, sampling rate uh, real-time sampling 2 meg samples per second so yeah that's that's actually not too bad um, this cost 35 pounds on eBay um, so value for money uh, I think um, it works um, so analog bandwidth 0 to 3 megahertz, um, 100 millivolt per division to 5 volt per division, 1 mega input impedance, uh, max input voltage 50 volt uh, peak to peak up to 400 volt uh, peak for a 10 times probe, AC and DC coupling. The item number is 361-375073037. Let's. Uh, Let's get this unboxed. Uh, I'll probably just do an unboxing in uh, in this video, and um, they'll probably um, do an assembly in another separate one uh, because I don't want this to get too long. So um, let's uh, let's begin. So okay, um, inside the box we've got two. On unusually thick paper uh, instructions, so we've got an assembly guide and a user manual. We'll have a look at that in by programmer and bootloader. So firm firmware upgrading the battery. Um, this can be powered from a battery, by the way, but uh, it doesn't come with one due to shipping regulations. But uh, you can stick just just about any. Uh, a mobile phone battery in there um, as long as it fits in the case uh, right okay so let's let's open this up and uh, yeah and put this uh, put this out of the box actually I was gonna say put this uh, together but not just yet Okay, we've got the actual oscilloscope, uh, we've got probe and some more parts and that's about it. So maybe we've put the box out of the way. Okay, first of all we've got a little bag that has um, two little modules which uh, look to me like DC to DC converters because there is just we'll have a closer look at this in a moment um, we've got two uh, board mount well, actually they're not board mount but I think they will be board mounted um, two BNC connectors and what I think those are those have to be DC to DC converter at least the topology looks uh, just right for it. 
we've got uh, an oscilloscope probe which uh, feels okay 20 megahertz times uh, times 10 times 1 probe it uh, it's feels soft I guess that's the best uh, I can s describe it it's not very sharp I guess so it could be sharper but that's uh, not too bit big of a deal I've got a crocodile clip for the ground times 1 times 10 it's the molding is a little bit yeah, it, it's not perfect but okay I would do it's actually not too bad um, the probe has compensation on it which is uh, which is nice so we can um, compensate for the probe uh, we'll have a look at that later on when we when we get to that um, we've got a standard micro USB cable now it's a shame it hasn't got a sorry a mini USB cable it's a shame it's not a micro actually uh, that would make things uh, a lot easier because so many things are micro USB nowadays um, or USB type C but that's probably a bit too much um, but okay I'll put that aside um, we've got this uh, connector wire for something uh, possibly for the battery I'm not too sure but uh, we'll find out later and we've got the actual uh, the actual thing um, now when I when I opened this um, I thought uh, my first thought was hold on a minute is this assembled uh, but it's not they've just nicely tucked it in the box so there we go we've got uh, the back case the back case has got a nice little stand that you'll be able to stand the scope up like so uh, later on uh, we've got one bag of few parts and another bag of few parts with more uh, additional pre-assembled modules and we've got the board over here so let's take this out and the board itself oh that's not soldered okay um, so some of the things on the board um, some surf surface mount and uh, um, and the switches and uh, and the encoder are pre-soldered and all the surface mount chips are pre-soldered and pre-programmed um, so the only thing that we've got left to do is put all the through hole uh, passives uh, in um, and all the connectors and that, that's gonna be that's gonna be it um, well, this is actually not soldered I thought it was but it's not it's uh, it's just put in um, in the hole so that uh, still has to get soldered in and I'm losing all the sliders so maybe all the sliders I'll pull off and leave them here and the buttons uh, we've got the usual uh, carbon black black buttons to to put on um, the screen itself um, that's got a backlight it's a graphical LCD with still a um, screen protector on it so I'll put that aside that's probably going to be the very last of the components that I'm going to put together the solder on and yeah this is just pushed in and a bunch of components and headers and uh, all sorts of weird and wonderful things so Oh, what's this? That's probably a light pipe because it's a tiny little uh, piece of acrylic that's been laser cut. One clicky switch and the knob for the encoder and lots of uh, resistors, a few inductors and uh, lots of lots of uh, lots of little ceramic caps. So, um, yeah, that's uh, that's about it. So I'm quite excited to uh, put this together. As I said, I'll probably make this um, into a separate video. My uh, initial impression is uh, quite.
quite positive, I must say. I quite uh, quite like the the way this thing looks. What's been soldered on? It's soldered really nicely. Um, oh, that's for adjustment for contrast. Everything on the board is uh, it's so nicely labeled at mega 40 at mega at mega 54 64 um, as everything is very nicely uh, labeled very very nicely labeled so there is so much information on the silk screen um, that you hardly ever ever see um, everything is uh, everything is is labeled and let's let's have a look at the board close up um, so here it is um, here we've got TL082 that's uh, an op-amp um, that's probably dealing uh, with the input stuff uh, the switches are still not soldered um, then we've got um, LM6172 uh, and the bigger chips uh, that's TLC5510 uh, And you can see everything's very well uh, marked on the uh, on the silk screen. Uh, everything, literally. Come on, focus. Okay. Uh, this is the big uh, brains at mega at mega 64A. And upside down at mega 48P. And yeah that's uh, that's all there is on the board um, they've also mounted this diode and what else they've mounted they've mounted the adjustment uh, trimmers trimmers um, over here because those those would be in those actually you could solder by hand but okay even this um, TLC 5510 they uh, this could be easily soldered by hand, uh, but the Atmega 64 that be a little bit challenging, but still doable actually. Um, but those little boards, this would be borderline impossible to solder by hand. Um, so what we've got here, this is a USB driver. Uh, The board's been very brutally cut off, but that's uh, not a problem. They probably just assemble a ton of those and just snap them off with uh, pliers brutally. Um, here is another one of those tiny boards. That's just got only a couple of voltage regulators on there. Here is the one for battery charger, which cons there we hold on. There we go. Which consists literally uh, of a diode, and that's it. So, okay. This is the step-up converter, and let's we can look at the chip. Uh, what's in here? Forex. NXH, uh, whatever that is, and that's the negative voltage converter. This has got three four th three four zero six. Uh, that looks to me like a date code, possibly. Uh, PFDAA34063 I'm um, not too sure and again the same diode is just a shot key diode uh, that's in a few places and inductor and a couple of passives and that's it okay and check out those instructions so this is one of the, this is the assembly guide and the amount of detail on here is really amazing so it's got all the boards uh, described uh, the bigger uh, switch mode converter is actually negative power supply um, and 
yeah, it's got step-by-step -step instructions how to put everything together, list of components, and yeah, on the other side it's got a power-up test, so before you put on the screen on and cover a lot of the components on, you have to do some uh, checking and, and whatnot, so yeah, uh, and all the troubleshooting, no power, dark LCD, no trace, no display, um, what to do step by step, um, all the test points with all the voltages required. Um, this is really, really nice. So this is really well documented kit uh, on the first glance. Um, so big thumbs up, I guess. Uh, really cool. Uh, let's uh, let's move on. So, um, overall, um, so far really positively impressed and um, yeah, really excited to have it and uh, to put it together in a moment. Um, so, yeah, that will be another video. Thanks for watching on this one and uh, please do subscribe for more random stuff and uh, certainly the uh, rest of uh, the play about uh, with, uh, with this little uh, JYE Tech oscilloscope. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. Take care.